This week, I want to share with you about God walking with your words. Now, let's read from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 10. Jesus said, Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority. He said, But the Father who dwells in me does the work. I love this scripture. You know, very few believers have learned the power of words. You know, but this verse where we read today, you know, perfectly describes the relationship of the believer and the Father. He is alive in us, and we are alive in Him, like uh, Jesus and the Father. So you see, the outflow of our union with Him is actually reflected in the results that we get in our lives because we are saved by Jesus to produce results and uh, our union with God is meant to be evident in all the things that we do because as Christians we're actually proof producers. So the question is, why is that some believers are not producing results like they should? One of the answers, one of the reasons is found in, you know, where we read today in our text Hallelujah, in John 14. We, a lot of believers are not producing results because they've not realized that it's not just enough for the Father to dwell in them as believers. Is that it's important for them to speak. You know, Jesus said, the words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority. See, but the Father who dwells in me does the work. So if you want the Father who is dwelling in you to get to work, then you have to release the word through your mouth. Now, you speak the word, he does the work. Now, one of the greatest harm I believe a believer can actually do to himself is to refuse to speak on the authority of God's word. Because if God has said something in his word, it's important for you to speak. It's not just enough that God dwells in you, it's important that you're speaking. So whatever you see in the pages of God's word must be spoken through your mouth in order for it to produce results. You know, the Bible says in the book of uh, Mark chapter 16, I think verse 20, it says, and they went out. You know, the Bible talking about his disciples, he said, they went out preaching everywhere. He said, and the Lord walking with them and confirming his word through uh, many signs and through many wonders. Amen. So what I want you to notice is that the Father was walking with them. That's what I want you to see. The Bible says the Father was walking with them as they went everywhere preaching or declaring or speaking the word. So the Father walks with the words that you declare. Your declarations give him what to walk with. So in order to be fruitful as a believer, you need to understand that fruitfulness is connected to speaking. You know, Jesus taught in the book of um, John chapter 15, verse 16, he says that you did not choose me. He said, I chose you and I ordained you. He said that you should go and bear fruit. And look at what Jesus said, he said, and that your fruit should remain. Then he now says, and whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Meaning that the way we produce fruit is by asking, by opening our mouths to speak. So you can see that the way to bear fruit is by speaking, is by asking. And when we ask, you know, God gets to walk. So every time we speak, as we're speaking, the Father is walking. Because the difference between uh, speaking positively and speaking God's word is that God walks with his word, which is spoken to our lips, not just the positive things that we say. So not just because you talk positively, God walks, you know. That's, there's a difference between positive speaking and speaking on the authority of God's word. So we must speak based on the authority of God's word. Of course, if you speak through the authority of God's word, you're speaking positively. Proverbs 18.21 tells us that death and life are in the power of the tongue. You see, and those who love it will eat its food. So the life of God is in the lips of the believer who knows what the word of God has said. It is that word that makes the believer's tongue uh, powerful. So as you align your tongue with the word, you know, you will definitely produce results because you will discover that the life of God's word is in his word. And if you take that word and put it in your mouth and make declaration, God is duty bound to get to work, to bring what you say to pass. That's why uh, that scripture I just quoted that says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, actually means that the life of God is in the tongue of the believer 
who speaks on the authority of God's word. So as you align your tongue with God's word, I want you to know that God gets to work. So constantly speak what you can, you know, do in him, what you have in him, you know, who you are in him. And you discover that your experiences will begin to change from defeat to victory. And you experience victory on all sides because the father is actually working with you like we saw this morning, uh, this in, in this verse, that the Father is working with you as you speak his word. I see you having a fruitful week this week in Jesus' name. Well, uh, my name is Pastor Aaron Metokula, and it's really a joy to be able to bring God's word to you. Let this week be filled with amazing testimonies as God gets to work with you in your offices, in your homes, as you boldly open your mouth to declare the things that you see in Scripture. Do have a great week. I love you. You are favored and you are blessed.